issues. Greetings, discrete defenders. Today, the compliments of a huge low pressure system to our west. We have a bonus 32 degree jail block testing day. Which of all the promised tests am I going to give you? I'm going to give you 380 versus 30 super carry because I found by random chance a box of 99 grain Federal HST 380 to match against the 100 grain 30 super carry, both HST. All right, first we'll turn on the Pro Chrono, see if that battery is still hanging, still clinging to life. I forgot to buy a new battery for this test. But let's test the, uh, the 380 first. The test gun for the 380 will be the Taurus TCP. Um, not because it's my favorite 380 or anything, but because it has a slightly longer barrel than, uh, than most of the other pocket 380s. This one's uh, 2.84 inches, I believe. So closer to a 3 inch or a 3.1 inch barrel like the, uh, the Smith & Wesson. This will be the, uh, the test gun for the 30 Super Carry, as always, the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. All right, so let's, uh, let's do five rounds of this quick like. Been keeping the ammunition a little bit warm inside my breast pocket. So let's see how they do. 910. 898. Slight jam with the Taurus. 881. 912, another slight jam with the Taurus. 894. All right, let's review that. At a high of 912 feet per second, a low of 881 feet per second, and an average of 899 feet per second for the 99 grain 380 auto HST out of the 2.84 inch barrel of the Jam Happy Taurus TCP. All right. Next up, the ever-reliable Smith & Wesson Shield. Let's delete that string. And take out the 100 grain HSTs. Just to review. All right, same distance, about five feet back. 1,211. 1,203, 1,207, 1,198, and 1,205. All right, I got five clean measurements that time. High of 1,211 feet per second, low of 1,198 feet per second, and an average of 1,204 feet per second for the Federal HST 100 grain 30 Super Carry out of the 3.1 inch barrel of the Smith & Wesson Shield. And I don't know why Federal bills this as being in between 380 and 9 millimeter in power. It's definitely a lot closer to nine millimeter, at least to nine millimeter standard pressure. All right, now we'll set up and shoot gel. And due to HS, HSTs sometimes under penetrating just a little bit, um, we might not need a backer block because this is 13 and a half inches, but just in case, I came prepared. Definitely wants to be this direction. All right. We'll capture those one way or another. 
All right, and I think what I'm gonna do for a barrier demonstration this time, I have this old worn out wife beater t-shirt. I'm just gonna Paul Harrell it up and go with a uh, four, four layers of cotton t-shirt. First up, 380 HST. I think I can hear the logging operations in the distance. They're having a bonus day of work as well. Chambered that one. Five feet away, same as the chronograph. All right. See what we did there. And that is trapped in the first gel block. Looks like, yeah, okay, I can see it. It's a little bit, uh, I'll take the t-shirt off and you can see it just a little bit. Fully expanded with that light fabric barrier has gone eh, eight and three quarters of an inch. Not much to write home about. It's a tough gel block. I mean, that might have gone nine or ten in a in a fresh first melt block, but we'll see how it compares to the 30 Super. 30 Super carry. And that has made it all the way through the first gel block and just into the backer block. So about 14 inches of penetration, a little bit more. Let's pull those out and put the calipers on them. Hundred grain 30 super carry, 99 grain 380. Yeah, that's just barely embedded. So 14, 14 and a bit, maybe. Comparable to the previous tests. It's in between the four layer denim, the four layer denim and the bare gel. This looks like the widest axis, axis of that circumference there. About 50, 5, 8, 6. That's really good. That's that's almost doubling the initial bullet diameter. I can show that to you here. About 31, just a bit over. Here's the base of it. You can see 30 super carry is not actually 30 caliber. All right. So now let's grab the 380 out of there and see how far that one has expanded. Not even sure which direction to come at this from. Uh, uh, probably at the top. Yeah, there it is. Ah, got it. You are coming with me. Wow. That's pretty nice though. That 30 or that that 380 has also achieved pretty good expansion. Really good. If, if I go I go out on this pedal, eh. if I drop it in the snow first, because my fingers aren't already cold enough. <sighs> Got on that pedal sticking out. It's actually 64, almost 65 caliber. That's pretty heavy right there. That is why the 380 HSTs do not penetrate adequately. So there is our 380 versus 30 super carry chronograph and ballistic gel test for today. Again, the test pistols being the Smith & Wesson Shield and the Taurus TCP. Not the most reliable 380 in the world, 
but a bit longer barrel. Cannot do much better than that 30 Super Carry, which is probably not surprising because it is, after all, a brand new, modern engineered pistol caliber. All right. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week. All 12. No issues.